Welcome back, Green Life Today family. My name is Jane, and today um, is December 28th, Sunday, and uh, we're like right in the middle of the festivities, right, for these holidays. You know, Christmas has come and gone, and everybody's ramping up for New Year's Eve and saying goodbye to 2014 and hello to 2015 and all the plans and goals and you know, things that we're trying to meet or create, you know, for ourselves for the new year. So today, um, you know, I was thinking um, this holiday season has been a little uh, melancholy for me, to be honest. Um, my middle son has moved to Portland, Oregon, you know, a couple months ago, and, you know, I'm missing him. I'm missing him a lot. Uh, Christmas isn't the same, but then again, life isn't the same, you know, without him here. Um, even though I'm so happy that he uh, flew the coop and is following his bliss, you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for him living the dream. Um, I still miss him. And um, as usual, you know, I'm missing my father. Holidays are you know, the time that we all get together and we, of course, can't help but remember, you know, the things that happened in my childhood, you know, when my brothers and sisters, we hang around the table and, you know, think, tell our, each other our stories, you know, and our perceptions of how we remember things that happened to us. And um, he, I, of course, as our father, plays a big part in those memories. And, you know, it always kind of sucks to be missing somebody you know, um, that played such a big part, right? But, you know, such is life. We're born, we live for a while, and then we say goodbye and make room on the planet for the people coming behind. And he lived his life, and he lived a good life, and he moved on, leaving room for us to figure it out, to find our way. And... Uh, and of course, you know, because we're at that time of the year, you know, where I am feeling kind of like that melancholy and reflective, um, I was looking around the internet and there's a writer named Alan Cohen. And there was a sentence this morning that just popped out at me. Well, actually, it was yesterday. I actually even posted it as my, uh, my Facebook status. But it just popped out at me. He wrote, preparing to live your dream is postponing it. You are either living it or not. Preparing to live your dream is postponing it. You are either living it or you're not. And uh, so today I am going to use that to greenlight my day. I am going to use those words as a conviction as a reminder and as direction and that's how I'm going to green light my day remembering you know all these things that I've been doing telling myself that I'm preparing you know to live my dream it's either I'm living it or I'm not so the things I do is not to prepare it's because I'm living it. And um, I may not be living it in exactly the way I want it to be right now, but I'm one day closer. And everything I do today, I'll remember that this is about me living my dream. Yeah. Dreams are wonderful things. They're wonderful. They are a guide. They're a light at the end of a dark tunnel. And this morning, that light is very, very green for me. Very green. So we'll see you later, everybody. Be living your dream. Don't just be preparing for it. We'll see you. Make it green, people. <laughs>